Welcome back to the opening bell. It's time for our CEO Spotlight. Joining me right now, Alan Barrett, CEO of D-Wave Quantum. Welcome back to the show. The stock appropriately hitting new all-time highs this morning and certainly has been soaring. Uh, you know, it was less than a buck a few years ago, and now here it is at uh, 27 and change today. Um, what's been going on in the world of quantum computing? I know the administration is also, Trump administration, expanding the quantum strategy. Tell me. So first of all, Nicole, thank you for the opportunity to be here with you today. And also congratulations on the launch of your new show. Um, you. It's been a really interesting and exciting and important 2025 for D-Wave as over the course of the last eight months, we have launched our newest quantum computer, Advantage 2, which is arguably the largest and most powerful quantum computer in the world. As evidence of that, we also earlier this year announced that we had been able to solve an important, useful, real world problem on this quantum computer that cannot be solved classically, full stop. This is what everybody in the quantum industry aspires to. And for the first time now on the D-Wave Advantage 2 system, we've been able to achieve it. We also have moved customers from proof of concept into production. So we actually now have customers using our quantum computers as a part of their daily business operations. We've extended our business model from just cloud-based service to now cloud-based service and selling on-premise systems as the Hewlett Supercomputing Center in Germany purchased one of our systems to integrate with their Exascale supercomputer for AI workflows and we have the best liquidity for the company that we've ever had with over $800 million of cash in the bank. So it's been a great 2025. I mean, there's so much optimism and um, excitement around quantum computing. And it sounds like as you go into businesses, it becomes more of um, accepted in the daily life because I think regular folks don't even know what quantum computing is, but now you're making it sort of mainstream. How so? How do, how do businesses use quantum computing? How does it help them? Yeah, exactly. So quantum computers today, at least with D-Wave systems, are allowing businesses to solve their hard computational problems faster and better than they've been able to solve them up until now. For examples, Companies like Entity Docomo, the largest cellular carrier in Japan, are using us to optimize cell tower resources to be able to support more cell phones per tower. Company like Ford Autoson, a joint venture of Ford Motor Company and Koch Holdings in Turkey, is using us to optimize how they assemble automotive bodies on a manufacturing platform plant floor to basically allow their employees to have a relatively uh, homogeneous workload throughout the course of the day. No long periods of heavy workload or long periods of short workload. So across a variety of different important application areas, our quantum computers are allowing customers to solve their problems better and faster than they've been able to solve them up until now. I mean, is quantum computing almost AI on steroids? Because you talk about solving real world problems. I know that um, we talk about what can be solved in seconds versus years, right? Well, I think that quantum computers and AI are actually quite complementary. Um, AI is very good at uh, helping you predict the future based on trends from the past, whereas quantum computing is very good at solving hard computational problems, optimizing solutions to problems. So for example, you might use AI to predict product demand in the future, and then you could use quantum computing to optimize the supply chain to meet that demand. So they're quite complementary, but moreover, quantum computers very soon will also be able to improve AI uh, model training. Specifically, uh, we've already started working on the ability to introduce the quantum computer into the AI model training workflow. In, flat, in fact, we delivered some technology a few months ago in support of this. And what's so significant about this it, is that it will enable not only faster model training, but much more power efficient 
model training so that we won't need the massive amounts of power that are being consumed today in support of AI and machine learning. We'll be able to do it with much less power consumption, which is very transformational. So at this point now, the group is doing so incredibly well. Um, your stock is up over 2,500% in one year. Uh, anybody would be thrilled to have owned this, you know, hindsight's 2020. What do you see as far as partnerships or how to continue to grow? We, you do have the support of the administration at this point. Um, what do we see? Do we see more M&A activity in this space? Are you, in fact, talking to other companies or is your story a D-Wave story and not interested? So in some sense, it's all of the above. We are continuing to focus in bringing ever larger and more powerful quantum computers to market. So we have a roadmap for our next generation system, which will be over 100,000 qubits, a massive increase over where we are today. We will continue to drive new applications into the marketplace, uh, commercial applications like those I described previously, as well as really focusing on helping to deliver much better support for AI machine learning. And yes, we are looking at, at acquisitions with over $800 million in the bank now. We are focused on looking for acquisitions that can really help to accelerate our growth. And what do you say to the naysayers quickly? I mean, you had uh, Martin Shkreli saying um, something. You had at one point even Jensen Wong said, uh, you know, was pushed back. What do you tell the naysayers, Alan? Well, I th first of all, I think Jensen Wong has totally changed his view from where he was, uh, you know, almost a year ago to where he is today, talking about the importance of quantum computing and how, as you combine it with high performance computing, uh, we'll be able to deliver very valuable new capabilities. Um, you know, and as far as uh, you know, the short the short sellers, uh, you know, I don't even give them the time of day. Yeah, all right. Alan Barrett, it's great to see you again. And congratulations. Come back with all the updates. I love when we have a chance to chat because quantum computing is where it's at. It's been incredible. The whole group has been so exciting. And so 2,500% new highs. And uh, come back soon. CEO at D-Wave Quantum, Alan Barrett. Thank you.